Well, you know the saltwater season's over when you find me here, man. Um, we got a cloudy, windy December day, but temperature-wise, it's not too bad. It's in the 50s, so I can't complain. Basically, we're at a pond. I fished a lot as a kid, so I know it's stocked with largemouth. Um, I've caught fish up to six pounds here, so there are some bigger ones in here, but it's mostly smaller fish. Uh, there's sunfish and bluegill, and there's actually some catfish in here, too. So there's a wide range in a really small pond, so I'm hoping I can get some fish on the bank today. I'm starting off with a very, very simple setup today. Uh, I'm just using 10 pound test line, no lead or anything, uh, tied direct to my line, a random bass hook I found, and I'm just throwing on a couple of these attachable weights. Gonna use some night crawlers, sink it down, see if I can get fish that way. You know, sometimes I find in the winter time that live bait is better. These fish are metabolism are way slow, they're lazy, they're not feeding as often, so just having a piece of meat kind of tangling in front of their face sometimes works better than, you know, whipping a lure back and forth. But if that doesn't work, I do have some Gary Yamamoto's I'll try throwing. So let's see what we can do here. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. This is a very simple setup, and as you can tell, I'm not much of a freshwater fisherman, so I'm sure if a freshwater guy is watching this, he's probably laughing at me right now, but I know this pond pretty well. I fished it a lot as a kid, and this has worked for me in the past, so I'm gonna give it a shot here. Oh, I'm already getting hit. Oh, man. That's a good sign. I was literally already getting hit. I just got a little too anxious. That did feel more like a sunfish. It was kind of like a tap, 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 tap. I've noticed when bass take this, it's kind of just like one big pull. Come on, getting very small hits. There we go, fish on. Finally, he's got whatever this is. And it's what I expected. It looks like a sunfish. Man, you swam to the right fast. All right, it's pretty, I guess, I'm, is that a big sunfish? I don't know, it looks like it's decent size. The thing with these guys, they have these nasty spikes right here. They will get, I remember as a kid getting destroyed by these so much. Kind of similar to scup spikes, honestly. They're kind of like a freshwater scup, if you think about it. Kind of like a freshwater scup. Cool, I guess. Catching fish in December, so I can't complain. See ya. All right, so I confirmed my suspicion that it was a sunfish nibbling at me. Um, I really like this bank, though. It typically holds a lot of fish, so I'm gonna try a few more casts there and hope a bass comes along. And if I keep getting destroyed by sunfish or no bass, I'm gonna move around. There we go. Oh, no, I still got him. Yeah, he's on there. Uh, I can't tell what this is. That is a... Jeez, my drag is loose, man. Yeah, it's another sunfish. All right, I'm gonna try moving. I'm just getting uh, picked apart by these guys like piranhas. Ow! Now yeah, they got bottom spikes, too. This is a little smaller one. Another... Oh! Uh, yeah, he made it through. There's like some weeds right there. That's why I threw that first one up ahead, but... Yeah, that guy looks like he swam through. Oh man, it's still pretty overgrown back here, but I'll take that as a positive. You know, I'm getting hits the second my worm is in the water. Granted, it's all sunfish right now, but the fish seem to be feeding. And again, I'm not a freshwater aficionado, so I don't really know what they're doing this time of year. I just know that it's colder, their metabolisms are down, and they're not feeding nearly as much as the summertime. In the summertime, you'll see bass splashing like all around these banks like I don't know every minute you'll see a splash they're blowing up on frogs and stuff it's actually pretty cool but you know that time of year I'm too busy focused on saltwater fishing to come here it's nice to change it up every once in a while back to the honey hole that other spot with a bust gave it about I don't know, half hour with no action, and I'm already getting hit. It still feels like sunfish, though. There we go. Fish on. I think this is a bass. Wow, that swam so fast. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, another sunfish, dude? What? Oh, I'm in sunfish heaven. Can't get away from these piranhas today, man. 
number three. I don't know, are these big sunfish? They seem like they're, I don't know if they get a heck of a lot bigger than that. They seem pretty healthy size. Whoops. And again, I'm throwing them because I got a ton of weeds right here. And you know, they're tough fish, they'll be all right. Basically in a suit of armor with those spikes. Another hit swimming me in. There we go, hooked up again. All right, I'm officially moving. It's the fourth sunfish I've got. That one swam me in though. I thought it was a bass for half a second, but he must have just really wanted it. These are some aggressive feeding sunfish. Little guy though, compared to what I've been getting. Huh, that worm is worth saving. All right, we're gonna make a move. I'm not here to just catch sunfish all day. I'd like to get at least one bass, and I'd even take a catfish. But yeah, this spot right here, along this bank, there's a drop off a little bit to the right, I believe. Like right around there. That will usually hold a bass or two, but this is my first time fishing here in like a year, so I don't know. There we go, hooked up. Let's see what we got here. That looked like a bass. Yeah, it's a little Larry. This is about a typical fish that comes out of his pond, a one, maybe two pounder, probably one and change, but I'll take it, finally got one. Yeah, this is a little, little, little guy, but at least I'm getting away from sunfish. I could just tell that hit was a little different. It was more of a pull, as opposed to like the little tap, 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 tap of sunfish, but and they'll usually leave you with your worm too, which is nice. So, all right, step in the right direction. Oh, come on. There we go. Got him. That's a sunfish. Those sunfish are fast though, man. Gotta admit, they got some speed to them. They are ravenous today, man. This pond is a really good sunfish population, I guess. seem to get away from them out competing the bass this is actually pretty cool I don't know if you can pick this up on camera but I think these are owl pellets when owls uh, you know they eat like rodents and furry creatures and stuff they'll regurgitate the fur and the bones they can't digest and yeah I think I see yeah that's like a little yeah, let me get closer on camera for you I'm trying to feed there right there this is a little like hand bone of like a mouse or something. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's not poop. It's just like straight fur and bones. So I wonder, uh, I wonder what kind of owl was hanging out up here and calling this area its home. But cool stuff. Cool stuff. Hooked up. This branch is getting annoying. Oh, shite. Come on, there we go. Another sunny, dude. <laughs> this is uh, getting ridiculous. Hooks up again. This is, this is just ridiculous. Sunfish after sunfish. Yeet. All right, well I am officially out of bait, so I'm calling it a day. Um, I don't think I've caught this many sunfish in one outing in my life, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I got like seven of them. You know, every spot I went to, uh, this one bank in particular, couldn't seem to get away from them. You know, normally in trips past, I've gotten more bass mixed in, but I was able to get one bass, so I guess not a bad trip. I'll take it for December. Um, I actually have an underwater camera that I didn't bring today, but I'm gonna start playing around with it in this pond, getting used to like where the positioning, I'll put it on the line, and just how it works, to be honest, um, in preps of this saltwater season coming up. So I should be having some cool underwater shots coming soon that will definitely spice up these freshwater videos. And hopefully next spring, I'll be able to get some crazy saltwater footage with this underwater camera. So I'm pretty excited for that. So there's something to look forward to, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.